Hi everyone, Jaquez here and welcome back to our Calendly tutorial series. Now we're going to explore a game changer for anyone who's tired of juggling multiple tabs and apps to manage their meetings. Say hello to Calendly's browser extension and guess what? We have just released a brand new version of the extension and it is available to you right now. Now what is this feature? Imagine having the power to control your entire meeting schedule right from your browser toolbar. That's exactly what Calendly's browser extension offers. Now with this powerful tool, you can seamlessly manage your meetings, scheduling links, and contacts in a single click. No more tedious tab switching or app hopping required. Now this extension is designed to help you work smarter, not harder, so you can focus on what matters most, such as growing your business and building meaningful relationships. Now let's dive into a demo and unleash the full power of Calendly's browser extension. Let's get started. Now to get things started, you first want to download the extension by heading to either Chrome Web Store and then searching Calendly or if you're using Firefox add-on, you want to head on to that location as well and download uh, Calendly's extension. And then once it's installed, you're going to see Calendly's icon in your browser within the toolbar right here on the top right hand corner. Now since we have the extension downloaded, we're going to go ahead and close this tab and we're going to go ahead and click on the Calendly icon to access the extension. Now what we're going to dive into first is taking a look at the settings by selecting the three dot icon up top so that way we can see what we have access to, right? Now the first thing you see of course is your name and the email address connected to your Calendly account. Now we have a quick easy access to your Calendly homepage here. So if you select this button, it's going to take you to your official Calendly homepage within the website. Up next we have settings. Now I'm going to go ahead and click this so you can see the different options you have accessible to you here. And one thing that you see is that you have the ability to show a button to access Calendly within your browser. So basically when you have the extension closed, you're able to select an icon that will appear. Uh, it'll actually look just like our C logo here and it'll simply open the browser extension for you. So it's always accessible at any time, wherever you are within your browser. Now you have some other extension integrations that you can add here, such as Gmail, Gong, Google Calendar, LinkedIn Message, etc. Now again, the browser extension is designed to make the scheduling process quicker, faster, more efficient without having you opening so many different tabs to get to that point. Now we're going to exit the settings and go back. And we're going to click that icon again and we see that you have the option to send feedback on the feature. Please, 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 as we build out our software, feel free to share your feedback on how we can make this even better, uh, more efficient for you. And of course, you have the ability to get access to one of our support agents if you have any questions by selecting the Get Help button. Now, what we see in front of us is a list of the different event types that we have on our Calendly account. Now, one thing I want to point out is the ease of accessibility. So let's just speak through the features that you have accessible to you just on the event types tab within our extension. If you go to a specific event type, I'm going to look at the Calendly account creation hour. I have the ability to copy the link for the event to view the live page so I can see what my event looks like, right? So I'm, I'm able to have an understanding of what my customers and clients will see. And then you have a three dot option to preview other specification that you can make to the specific event type. So you're able to edit the event, customize once and share, you can add an internal note here and you can favor this event type so that way it stands out within your list when you're looking at specific event types to offer to your customers and clients. Now one feature that I specifically want us to look at is this great and awesome feature where you're able to book a meeting on behalf of one of your customers and clients. Before we dig heavily into that, I want us to first go to the contacts tab because this tool right here in itself is a very powerful feature that we offer within the extension. Now, if you have repeat customers who book sessions with you, right, or meetings with you, 
back to back or if you have a contact list you have a central location where you can go and pull the contact that you want to book a session with you and you're able to do it on their behalf and you're also able to see their name and email so that you have some type of documentation to pull from that you can plug into a meeting for them right on their behalf now let's create a new contact so you can see how this process works. I'm going to select new contact and the first thing you're presented with is the name field, you have the email address field, time zone, and phone number. But the required fields that we need in Calendly, right, to build a contact is the name and email address. So let's come up with something here. We're going to do CalPal, and the email we'll just do uh, Calendly at email.com. And if we wanted to, we can choose their time zone. Uh, if we wanted to for this specific contact, I'm going to choose Pacific for this one. And if we wanted to, we can type in a phone number uh, that can be tied to their profile. And then we're going to select Save Contact, and you're going to see that this contact has now been added to our list of customers and clients that we can schedule meetings with. Now, what I want to do is also point out that you're able to favorite a contact just like we could on the first page where you're able to favorite an event type uh, that you're going to use more consistently. But what I want to show you now is that now that we have our contact created, let's go back to that event type and let's take a look at the book meeting feature. When I select the book meeting feature, a screen should appear for next steps. Perfect. Now that I selected the book meeting feature, the first thing that is presented to us is the customization that we can put into play for the specific meeting for an individual contact that we have saved, right? Now, the first thing we see is you have the ability to change how long this meeting is. So we can change it from one hour to 30 minutes. Um, we're going to keep, you can change the location if you wanted to. I'm going to keep it as Zoom, but you do have the ability to change it from Zoom to in-person, phone call custom, and any other web conferencing software. You also have the ability to change the name of the meeting and making it something completely different if you would like. And this is the most important part here because again, you're scheduling a meeting on behalf of a client, right? So you're able to search here. We're going to search CalPal. And now I have CalPal as the contact for this specific meeting that we're going to schedule. So next what we can do, we're going to locate uh, a date and a time that will work on their behalf. And we're just gonna play an example, uh, you know, their availability at free on Thursday at 12 p.m., right? Once we selected that date and time, we see on the left-hand side that it has been adjusted here right below the contact. Now, once we're done, we're gonna select book meeting. And now that meeting has been booked successfully for that specific contact. Now that we have that contact booked, Let's take a look at our meetings tab so we can actually take a look at our schedule and see our upcoming meetings that we have in place and also any adjustments that we can make. So we're going to select the meetings tab. And as you can see, we have a list of our upcoming meetings. So that way we're able to manage our schedule more effectively, right? So we have our most recent booking that we did on behalf of CalPal. And if we select the three dots here, we have the ability to cancel and reschedule within the extension. Again, another powerful way for us to get things done quickly without opening so many tabs, right? You also have the ability to click into the meeting and take a look at the different details that are present. So again, you have the reschedule and cancel options accessible, and you also have the details such as the location. In this case is Zoom. You have the invitee name, their email, their time zone. You have the date when they were scheduled. You have the host, and you also have any answers to any questions that you had on the booking form to prepare you for the meeting another powerful way right to streamline the engagement and of course the customer experience as they're meeting with you so let's go back now i want to dive in this a little bit further the meetings tab is very powerful because it allows you to really manage your time and again calendly's entire goal is to make it easier for you to schedule meetings to attend meetings to follow up with meetings we want the meeting life cycle to be streamlined for you so having an extension that shows you your schedule during the day that doesn't take you outside of your normal workflow is a very powerful additive to include in your day to day. Now let's head back to the event types and look at some of the sharing possibilities that we have accessible to us. So let's select the event types 
and I'm going to go back to this event here, the Calendly account creation hour, and we see the share availability option present for us. Now let's select this and let's explore this a little bit further. So we have an additional copy link location where you're able to copy the link for the specific event type. So that way you can share it with your customer or client, but you also have the ability to copy a single use link, which means this is a link that you can share with a customer or client that can only be used one time and it's active for that one time purpose. And after the booking, it becomes obsolete. And then you also have the ability to add times to email. Now, if you're working in your Gmail, right? And I'm going to take you to my Gmail account and we're going to open up that extension there so we can continue this journey. If I was to select add times to email, I can just go in and choose the dates. We're going to do the 7th, the 8th and the 15th. Select finish and share. I would simply open up my message and then paste the selected availability that I've created within the extension into my email for my customer and client to book a time with me. Now look how easy and streamlined that is, right? So when you copy and paste the add the times to email to your email, it creates links so that your customers and clients can choose specific times that works for them. There's also the ability for them to choose other times if these don't meet their level of availability. So again, another powerful way for you to streamline your scheduling process using Calendly without the multitude of tabs and apps. Now, this is an updated version of our browser extension, the next level, making your workflow more efficient so that you're able to book meetings, to get things in motion without slowing down the process, creating all these different tabs, opening all these different apps, right? You're able to do everything you need to schedule meetings within the browser extension. I want to give a couple of tips and tricks and one is that let's just say you're on a phone call right and you're working talking with a client about next steps you can simply use that book meeting option to book a meeting with your client while you're on the phone with them taking their availability considering whatever dates and time that works for them and it's all done without you having to leave your current workflow and guess what the client will receive an email or a calendar invite letting them know of that meeting and everything is done and set and you're ready to move on to the next thing. Another powerful thing that I want to point out is really take advantage of the contacts feature and this allows you to keep track of your meeting history, allows you to book new meetings more efficiently, but definitely take usage of this specific feature as a way for you to streamline your scheduling process by having your repeat customer info saved in your contact list for easy booking for future meetings. And finally, Using that share availability to add times to your email is another game changer that keeps you in your day to day workflow without taking you into the nuances of moving from one app to another app just to get availability accessible for your customers and clients. So again, you can close those deals quicker. You're able to build those relationships faster and it gives you the ability to really streamline that entire process for you to go from conversation to meeting to closing the deal. That wraps up our session for today. You now have the power to revolutionize your meeting scheduling with Calendly browser extension. Now by leveraging these game changing features, you'll be able to streamline your workflow, boost productivity and deliver an exceptional customer experience. I hope these tips help you streamline your scheduling process. If you have any questions about Calendly features, drop them in the comments below or you can check out our help center, which is also linked in the description below. While you're here, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with those who will find it useful. Stay tuned for our next video, where we'll dive deeper into Calendly features. Until then, happy scheduling.